Before we dive into learning PHP, let's first ask ourselves, what is PHP? PHP is a server-side scripting language. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I thought PHP was a programming language. How is a programming language different from a scripting language? A scripting language does something only in response to events. A programming language can do things even when it's not responding to events. JavaScript is an example of another popular scripting language. But unlike JavaScript, PHP is going to run on the server side, not on the client side. Now, when we talk about server and client side here, what we're talking about is our web server and the user's browser. The client is going to be the user's browser. So PHP is going to run on the server, not in the user's browser like JavaScript. And because PHP runs on a server, that means it generally can't run on its own, and we're going to need a web server in order to run it. But it will run as is, which means that it doesn't need to be compiled like other programming language, let's say C or Java programs. So we'll be able to just write our PHP, put it on our web server, and we'll be good to go. PHP is designed for use with HTML. PHP can be embedded in HTML, we can use it with HTML, and in the end, PHP is going to return HTML to the browser. PHP code is going to be our input, web pages are going to be our output. And we're going to name the files that we create with a .php at the end to let the server know that we're talking about PHP files here and that it should interpret it as PHP. It can also include HTML in that file and will still return HTML to the browser. If you've been working with HTML, you're familiar with having .htm or .html at the end of your file name. It's going to be exactly the same but with .php at the end. But PHP is going to provide more flexibility for us than HTML does on its own. HTML pages are static by their nature, and all visitors to a web page see the same page all the time. But PHP is going to let us create dynamic pages. The page content can change based on conditions such as interactions with the user or data stored in a database. As I noted in the introduction, you're going to want to know HTML first, and you can think of PHP as turbocharging your HTML. PHP syntax is going to be very similar to C, Java, and Perl. And if you happen to know any of those languages already, you'll recognize the similarities. But if not, don't worry, you won't need to know any language before you learn PHP. PHP is also going to be a lot like ASP, if you're familiar with that. ASP stands for Active Server Pages, and it's basically Microsoft's version of PHP. And if you learn PHP, ASP is going to be very similar and vice versa. But again, I'm going to assume that the only foundation you have for this title is going to be HTML. I think it's also helpful if we examine a little bit of the history of PHP, and we'll do that in the next movie.